Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C, and let's go ahead with the playthrough of FS port. Terran Intelligence has spent the last two weeks analyzing flight data from the okay, combat so, station attack. Okay, uh, so, a little bit more the information the about Shivan the Lucifer, Lucifer has been given special attention. Intelligence I guess. believes the Shivans were tracking the captured Tyrannus cruiser through subspace to the station. Wow, they managed to track their own cruiser. Intelligence doesn't know how the Shivans track the Tyrannus escort, but they've got a team of engineers trying to figure it out. They're also analyzing the shield system on the Lucifer. Unlike the shields on the Shivan fighters and bombers, the shield appears impervious, not merely resistant, to all of our weapons. So they still haven't figured out a way With to the punch through the shields. Station, the Shivans have gained control of the Ribo subspace node. That leaves only two subspace jumps between the Lucifer fleet and the Vasudan homeworld. We must defend the Vasuda Prime. Not only is it the humane thing to do, but it's in our own interests. If the Shivans gain control of that system, it will be a short walk to Earth itself. So we're going to try and defend Vesuda. While their proximity to Earth is cause for concern, we have no reason to believe the Shivans know the location of our homeworld. There are dozens of star systems off the Ribos node, and the Shivans will likely have to examine them all. It is obvious, however, that they are narrowing it down, and we can't afford to give up one more inch. So it always Lucifer falls down to that trying to go and protect in the Earth. Ribos system, leading us to believe that Antares is the focal point for the next Shivan offensive. We're going to move the Galatea and its fleet to the Beta Aquilae system in case the Shivans decide to attack Vasuda Prime through there. Command is sending another Orion class destroyer, the GTD Bastion, to the Antares system to help us with the blockade. But for the time oh, being, Bastion, the I'm sure defense. that's just a throwaway name, and that's going to be the only time we hear about that destroyer. I am pleased to announce we have two new weapons to use against the Shivans the Hercules Heavy Assault Fighter and the Synaptic Cluster Bomb. You may study these in the tech room, they will prove very useful. Well, they're right about the Hercules proving useful. Uh, cluster bombs, 20 minutes for your I briefing. don't really like. They are a little bit more complicated to use, and I prefer fire and forget In missiles. In order to protect Vasuda Prime, the GTD Galate will be moving from Antares to Beta Aquilae. Alpha and Beta wings will provide escort. The sentry guns surrounding the jump node were severely damaged in the recent Hammer of Light attack. Alpha Wing will inspect the sentry guns to determine if they are salvageable. Beta Wing will provide cover. Oh, so we get to go into the area right next to the guns. The Galate will jump into Antares, reset its coordinates, then jump to Beta Aquilae. Lately, the Hammer of Light has been attacking all ships passing through the jump node. It is your responsibility to this destroy one all here is kind of uh, a bit of bad continuity that. After the Galatea doesn't really make any sense. Aquilae, you will be Basically what they're doing for sake of engine system. There limitations you as you're having the Galatea to jump in through one jump node and then jump to another system through the same jump node, Good which luck, is pilot. not actually how it's supposed to work. But there's uh, several inconsistencies in here, and if you actually look at the maps that sometimes appear during the briefings and things like that, uh, you'll actually find that the jump nodes do not match some of what they're saying for how you can jump between systems. Like they'll say a ship's going from one system to another system through a jump node, but there's no node between the system, and other things like that. Let's see, I don't know why they're giving me Furies. There's probably a reason, but I'm going to trust my guns and I'm going to keep with some fire and forget missiles. So, let's see. Should be a sentry gun. Let's find one and Not much happening here, Alpha Wing. jump into it. So, uh, Cerberus class here, sentry gun. Well, I'm sure they haven't been hijacked by any sort of uh, shadowy organization that's turning out to help the cybernetic uh, creatures that are attacking us. Scanning and oh no! Who would have thought? You don't say, Beta Three. I mean, I never have figured out that this would have been a trap unless you said something. Let's take him out. Impressive pilot. And. And fire. I really do like these missiles. Because they do a ton of damage. 
effect. That looks like he just got one hit by a single missile, so let me switch to single fire mode. And it looks like those objectives failed right there, so I think some of the fighters actually jumped out. Here we go. Not quite one hit, but still close enough. I think I'm going to keep a single fire on the interceptors here unless I'm fighting something like a bomber that's got a lot of HP. Alpha Gigalite, area is clear. You are clear to jump in. Still not sure how the Galate would have been threatened by a few fighters. Okay, uh, I need to get out of the way here, because that will kill you if you get hit by a capital ship. But I guess I was wrong. It looks like, uh, Galate is just jumping in from within the system and then just jumping out, so... I thought you said it was clear. Oh, I also said that I was going to switch to dual weapons mode for bombers, and I didn't. There we go. Actually, a pretty nice bomber design right there. Actually, kind of like how that looks. Look a little bit better as debris. Oh, they're using stilettos. Uh, those are uh, disable only weapons, so that's not actually going to damage the Galatea. At worst, it might uh, disable the engines. Okay, that's a real bomb. Yeah, that's a tsunami bomb. Don't want to let that hit the Galate. Okay, there's a lot of bombs out. Okay, only stilettos. I'm not going to worry about the stilettos, but... Looks like I managed to evade missiles. And he managed to evade my missiles. go. And I think there's one more bomber here. Yep. Got a lot. I probably should reload because uh, I'm down to one bank of missiles. Okay, that's the support ship jumping in. Okay, so they did a little bit of damage to the Galate there. I can actually switch back to... Uh, oops. Switch to accelerate in time instead of switch time or trying to ram the Galate. Oh, that's hardcore. Pilots, destroy those kamikaze fighters. They're loaded with warheads. I forgot that they actually implemented this in the main game. But they can't actually rig this so that they will do a ton of damage and I mean, they won't explode with quite the same amount of force as they would if they actually successfully hit. But, uh, if they hit, they can actually do quite a bit of damage. Impressive, pilot. Alright, there we go. And support's obstructed because they can't find a way around the Galate. Uh, it looks like there's actually a cruiser that's just jumped in. The Mauler is on a direct impact course for the Galate. So let's take this guy out. Or at least try to. I might actually wind up dying here, come to think of it, because it, it, I don't think he's going to die quickly enough. And if he does actually hit the Galate, uh, it's going to be a heck of an explosion. But she's about to hit the Galate. Well, at least I've got support sitting on top of me. And 
it looks like he's impacting. We cannot continue this battle. Request immediate assistance. Oh shit. I should have actually uh gone away from that explosion. I just didn't think that it was uh like I said that it might be a problem, but I didn't actually think that I was that close to it, so I'll have to remember that this time. Not much happening here, Alpha Wing. All clear here, Beta. Alright. Scan these guns and be ready to open fire immediately. Someone's reprogrammed the sentry! Let's just go ahead and take everything out so that we can get back to the point where died. Okay. Impressive pilot. Go ahead and reload now, or at least call him in for reload. Enemy wing has just arrived. There we go. Alpha to Galante, area is clear. You are clear to jump in. I hope I'm not in the wrong spot again. Like right on top of where the Galatea is going to go. I think I'm out of the way this time, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm clear. I think. I think. Yeah, I'm just barely clear. Hammer attack squad jumping in. Protect the Galatea. Let's take out these bombers again. is definitely taking a lot more damage than it did last time. This guy is like really hard to find. There he is. That's one problem with bombers since they do fight so close in at times. Uh, it can be a little bit difficult trying to actually get right onto them to fire at them when they're sitting right up at the ship that you're trying to protect. Okay, looks like all the bombers are down, so... Roger, sir. On our way. Taurus and Cancer are trying to ram the Galatea! Heads up! We've got visitors! Well, every time I 
try to do this. And I'm not going to get involved with that this time. Unless everything else dies, and then I'll probably just lob missiles at it from a distance. Alright, dual fire, and... I'll just launch everything I have at him. Okay, and he's ramming. So, let's get out of here. Okay, so I'm the only fighter left. Fortunately, there's only one pursuit and fighter. Shit. Alpha One, stand by. Your new orders are coming through now. Okay, so it looks like this might be a red alert mission coming up. Pilot, stand by for further orders. I think it is. We have reason to believe that the Shivan destroyer Eva is in the Antares system near the Antares Vega jump node. You will jump to this subspace node and investigate. Destroy all hostiles. Further orders will be given to you in mission. Delta Wing will be flying Medusa bombers and will assist you. If you need further assistance, you may call in Epsilon Wing. Galactic Terran Intelligence out. Well, looks like this should be interesting. And, uh, yes, sir. I guess that is Destroyer. So I guess this is going to be another two-parter here. Before we could reach it. Uh, since We've got four I have, like, and two no in the area. help here because my wing got decimated, I am Epsilon. going to... Alpha and Beta tried to destroy the freighters without destroying the cargo. Let's see. Enemy wing has just arrived. The sheep and they're leaving their cargo behind. Pilots, don't destroy the cargo. We'll send in a team of transports to tow the cargo back to base. See if I can get to these guys before they jump and take them out. Support ship being deployed. I probably should rearm, yeah. Okay, he's gone. There. New bandits in the area. They are sending in a lot of fighters. Okay. Let's see if I can't take out these freighters here. Looks like that's going to be a no on the freighters, so let's try and deal with these fighters. Yeah, the freighters jumped out before we could take them out. So probably going to lose points for that, but oh well. Good news is that most everyone is kind of alive. Uh, we are also, like, really badly outnumbered right now. And I'm having trouble turning as well, so let's see. Uh, here's support. This is really, really dangerous, because if they blow him up while he's on me, he's within my shields, and I'd get killed in the explosion. Looks like Epsilon Wing is about to go down as well. Switch off of uh, dual fire mode. Oh, I think that. Yeah, that's uh, warning me that somebody's got missile lock on me.
I've got 19 countermeasures left, so hopefully that'll be enough. But I'm down to just two friendly fighters, and I've already called in my reinforcements, so this is going to be a little bit interesting. Come on. Lock on. Oops. Wrong button, so now I've only got 14 countermeasures left. Okay, he's down. Uh, lock on him, so let's... Well, that didn't even punch through his shields. It did a lot of damage to the shields, but... Right, there we go. Almost got rid of all these fighters. Hopefully not going to find out that a bunch more are going to jump in or something like that. good way to get shot. One other bad thing about the AI is they like to uh, just go right in front of you and I've actually blown away friendly fighters before firing missiles because they'll jump right in ahead of me like literally right after I press the button and uh, you can get missiles. I can't remember if it's actually Free Space 1 but in Free Space 2 you can get missiles that uh, you fire like 16 of them at once and of course at point blank range those are all grouped together and if you get hit by all of them you die I mean the idea is they, they're not as good at tracking and all that but uh, they will do a ton of damage There we go. Looks like all the Sheevans are gone, so down to just the Roger, sir. Raiders. Way. And let's see if support will dock with me. And actually, it might be faster if I head towards support. And full stop. I don't know if I'm actually going to need any more missiles or if this is just uh, ending the mission with the recovery of the cargo, but given that my wingmen are entirely dead, aside from two guys that are red as far as health goes, which means that they're under, I think, like 30% hull integrity, I really don't want to risk it, and I really don't want to have to try and rearm uh, with no wingmen to kind of take the heat off of me. barely even see the transports at this range. Suppose this does give a little bit of a lesson. Protect your wingman because you don't really know if you're. Cargo. It looks like some... Oh shit! Refusing order to dock the Sheevan cargo. I don't blame you. GTT Stern, you are under direct orders to dock with the Sheevan cargo. Let's scan it and see what it is. With all due respect, I will not place my crew at risk. Very well. Alpha One, scan the Sheevan cargo container. Already done. I hope it didn't just glitch it. Readings on the container. GTT Stern moving into dock. And I'm actually going to back away because I think this one's rigged as well. Despite what they say, I think this one's rigged as well. So let's back off to at least a kilometer. And full stop so we can watch the fireworks when it explodes. What's nice is these missiles also have a little bit longer range, apparently, so it's not 
as bad as it was with some of the earlier missiles that were just completely unrealistic. Oh, okay, maybe I was wrong. Oh, nope. The stern has been destroyed. Pilots, this mission is finished. Jump back to base. Alright, well that's it then, so let's go ahead and jump out. We have recovered two of the abandoned cargo containers. Intelligence believes analysis will prove useful so that the Stern and Dobbs won't have been lost in vain. Well, you if you had some to dock. Conduct metal for your continuing service to the Alliance. That you were also able to destroy all Sheevan transports is impressive. Alright, well it helps when they don't move. Right, anyways, this is Trachy 1701 c signing off. Uh, please remember to subscribe, rate, and comment.